Yo guys, a few things about today's video. Uh, I'm trying to do more and more explanations because you guys seem to really like it, to peek through my brain and see why I do things. So that was my spirit during that game. Uh, two things about that game. First one, um, Aatrox matchup, how you're gonna fit on Aatrox. So I don't explain every single micro decision. Basically into Aatrox, it's all about knowing what's coming next after q1 comes q2 after q2 q3 and put yourself in his shoes and then everything is going to be way easier second thing look at how i close the game we end up having a pretty big lead but i see a good play and then i see a better one that's something that comes from chess actually when i was learning chess there's this saying that says whenever you find a great play look for a better one so maybe it can inspire you to close your games and very last thing guys i'm sorry about the echo that you can hear actually i realized something because i have my little office in my in my apartment and it's not over yet i'm still waiting for our furniture and i realized something whenever there is actually clothes drying here in in my room there is little echo there's still a little bit it's not perfect sound i would try to find solutions uh but when there is no closed drying which is very rare actually <laughs> but there is echo so that was the only reason for it so now i actually let the cloth on the dry or whatever it's called in order not to have echo so yeah i hope you guys won't mind it anyway enjoy the video much love <laughs> Explaining everything, let's go. So we have an Aatrox matchup with PP. This is very abusable. We're win condition by ourselves. Let's look at bot lane. Lilia Rakan. Lilia Rakan. Interesting. Into various Nautilus. So well, Lilia Rakan has to be really strong into Nautilus. Uh, then Varus is going to be able to hold the, the distance very easily up until level 6 where they can go hard in. I actually, I actually trust that Lilia DC. I'm fine with it. Uh, then mid lane we have Annie versus TF. Uh, well, I think I think Annie has to be a fine matchup for TF as well um, because he probably has a bit more range. Like it's not gonna, like she has to walk up to hit abilities, meaning that she's gonna be in uh, card range. Then it's Talia versus Rengar. And Talia jungle is not as scary as as, as it used to be. Also, I'm noticing already that oh shit. I'm noticing already that they have a lot of squishy champions and we have Rengar, so Rengar is a win condition. Um, TF, TF can do a lot also. Yeah, Rengar can one-shot these three guys, basically. Uh, Aatrox with D-Shield, he's right to be scared of me. Mm -mm -mm. And Talia, I mean, we just need to track her because she has really good follow-up on ganks, especially with Nautilus. I think she's going to play bot. Also Annie, because she has well, put in click CC. And also top, kind of. So we just need to track um, Talia. And we should be fine. Bro, he's taking... Okay. Not an Aatrox OTP. A good Aatrox would have known that I was in the bush because he drew his sword. If if you if it like if you are sitting in the bush, Aatrox is gonna take his sword out because his passive is getting charged. So if he doesn't know that, probably that. Well, he doesn't know everything about his champion. No. I should have maybe ghosted level 1 and uh, get his flash. I'm missing a lot of CS for nothing. Also, I missed a bit of XP level 1, I guess. I want to go for it. Ooh. Nice. I 
actually I could buy something. Let's pay the tax. Like I'm gonna buy this at some point into the game. But if I buy it at three minutes, I would get anti healing value for the whole game. If I buy it at minute 25, I would get it just for 10 to 15 minutes. So I think it's good to rush it into Aatrox if you have the perfect goal for it. I could also have went uh boots. Dagger, refillable, something. I mean, I want to take it, but if I take it, Rengar can't, and I don't want to deny my gender experience. Shit. Nah, I should have waited my W. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't have to W when I did it. I, ju I just thought that it was it was going to be guaranteed. Also, I like to W early into AD champions because it debuffs AD. Like It's not only for the slow. But I need to be better at guaranteeing Ws. Okay, now I can go tier 1 boots, dagger, refillable. Or this. Nah. Okay, this gives us scrubs. Up, up. So the wave is pushing to me. I have. Old soon. Ghost in 70. Insane. <laughs> I think I think I faced the Lilia bot at some point and this exact same stuff happened. Um if I had ghost I would actually push this wave to get level 6 to dive him instant. But because I don't have ghosts, I need to use the length of the wave. Most likely. So, well, let it push to me. Or I could die with the Rengar. I oh, this is coming. Got level six. Didn't see that, my bad. After two boots, and I don't want to stay too long, and have Talia come and and give shutdowns. Yeah, maybe actually just because Rengar was stopped, I should have like hard pushed the wave and went for the dive. But then Nautilus was coming, so I guess catching Nautilus is good enough. But I think we would have had the time to dive him when he's at 5. I mean, he's still really good overall. He still has no TP and the wave is bouncing to me. Uh, I'm going to check those these top camps because we haven't seen Talia in a long time. And my Rengar is playing bot. I'm actually going to drop a ward here. Okay, two kills on Rengar at the end of the day, it's really good. And as we said, Rengar is a win condition by himself because... Because there are a lot of squishy champions. Well now, safest and most guaranteed play is gonna be to play for my ults. So uh, in 20 seconds the way will be here. I would have my flash and ghost, and how does Aatrox play it? 
spoiler he can't okay probably when yeah trying to take the aggro as late as possible Make sure that I take the third shot under my ult. And GG. Okay, so now he's gonna come back actually pretty soon because death timers are so short. So I cannot go for two plates, so I'll just go for one plate and the wave so I cannot play with it. And then base and come back and play grubs. Up. Because they're spawning 14, but if I go on grubs now, I'll be stuck on the map with a lot of gold and I don't want that to happen. So I'd rather spend and be a bit late on grubs, but it's not a problem because Talia is bot. Slurring guard doesn't need me. And then let's go. TF is doing really well. He's actually playing on hit TF. I mean, having this into Annie is, is so good. Yeah, we're all pretty fed at this point. Shit. Shut down. Yeah, I reckon is kind of griefing it. It's okay. The rest of us is doing really well. Okay, he's still top. That's all I wanted to know. He's dead. making sure I get out of the W and then just like hit and run basically uh, let's play for plates now mm -mm -mm. I can't dive in from full HP I mean I can maybe but it's gonna be really close and what do I have to win a kill which is worth like 150 gold or something what do I have to lose? 900 gold. Do the math. Oh, it's not worth it. I still want to base for Kraken though. I mean, even if I want to base for Kraken, I think there's another kill to take here. I have Ghost. Maybe I didn't need Ghost actually. Better save than sorry, like I have such a big shutdown, I want to make sure that I don't give it for, for free. Uh, Talia might be back on map and ult up, I don't see if she ulted or not. But I don't see her bot on the three wards, so I'm gonna consider she's coming top and respect. Otherwise I would have went for platings. Okay, we see her now. Well, both TF and Rengar gave their shutdowns. I mean, we're kind of making stupid plays here. Okay, Trax is roaming. So I can finally get T1. 
So I'm gonna try to... Actually, I'm not gonna deny too many minions. I'm just waiting for this wave to walk up. So I'm denying the cannon at least. Getting T1. It's actually not T1 of the game. It's okay. And this way, this, like the next wave is actually easy for me to get. Uh, Anne is off map. I put myself here, I can actually ward this bush. And try to see if she's coming this way. There is no red buff. Yeah, my team wants to flex and get kills. Uh, make sure we get objectives. Okay. What do we want? Second item. I think I want to go Navori because it's good for Talia, Annie, Varus, and Naughty actually, kind of because Naughty is gonna look to kite me, you know. There's a Drake soon. I don't really care about second Drake. I want to keep pushing our leads for my next item. I mean, I could do a play though, that could finish the game right here, right now. And that would be bring a truck stop. Buy this just because it's like, it, it spikes, you know, spiking. And now I actually move to my team <coughs> for Drake and kill them all on Drake. And end the game from that point. Like, they're still fighting and they still have hope. But maybe if we kill them now, it's gonna be over. Exactly, I told you. <laughs> I told you I could have Harold top, took T2, etc. But I felt like this was the winning play. Okay. Well, again, it's a stomp, but still, it's. I think it's it's good content. I think it's good enough, so I will post it. Um, if you guys have been watching to this point, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching it. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to drop a like, a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck on a fun game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace, guys. Much love. Bye-bye.